what we do is bigger than ourselves and we are truly making a difference in these patients lives each and every day the, this industry has had such an impact on me now you know when i wake up i have a sense of confidence i know who i am i know what my goal is and i know what my purpose is in life there are days where you will truly know that what you did not only changed that patient's life for the better, but that will leave a lasting impact potentially on a family. Hey, my name is Jake. I am a beachgoer, um, a big foodie being in Charleston, South Carolina, an older brother, a continual learner, and I'm also a field reimbursement manager. My role as a field reimbursement manager is truly to advocate for the patients that may not fully understand the complexities behind the payers and managed markets of a, of a complex biotech marketplace. We deal with managed care and making sure prescriptions get pulled through at the pharmacy level with as, as little difficulty as possible. Um, the reason that I'm capable of doing that is because some of these biotech companies are coming out with revolutionary medications. There's pharmaceuticals, then there's biologics. The biologics have an opportunity to work on multiple disease states at uh, you know, different times. So with those new medications coming out, insurance changes, and that's where we no longer just need sales reps, but we also need people um, called field reimbursement managers like myself to help support the, those field reps and make sure that the sales that are coming through are actually being pulled through at the pharmacy as well. With that being said, um, a lot of these patients, uh, you know, they have great results from medications, but they don't know how to advocate for themselves. And that's where a lot of the field reimbursement management time is spent is advocating for these patients on their behalf to um, payers or PBMs as to, as to why the reasoning uh, they need to be on these medications, um, you know, as prescribed by their provider. A typical day in the life um, as a field reimbursement manager, it's going to vary vastly day to day. Uh, one day you may be waking up, first thing you do is check emails, read reports, and then through the data you've seen, start collaborating with cross-functional teammates, such as your, your sales reps or your regional sales manager, um, if something alarming has come up. If, if not, then you're out there calling customers, making sure that prescriptions are going through. One of the big things is communication, making sure that you're fully aligned with the sales team, because when the sales team has um, issues and obstacles, one of our goals is to help remove those barriers for patients to access the medication. One of the main reasons that I chose uh, the biotech industry in, as a whole is because, you know, my mom is a, was a flight nurse growing up, so I always had that, that science background. My dad was a sales manager. I went down to a, a small South College in Georgia, I got a biology degree and came back, thought I wanted to be a dentist, and after shadowing some people, realized that I didn't like touching sick patients, but I still wanted to make an impact. So one of the ways that I found the ability to do that was through biotech and, you know, making sure that patients have an advocate and have somebody who do, does understand the landscape and the complexities of it, and is able to speak on their behalf and lobby for them. So. It's a multifaceted answer in the sense of there's many different rewarding um, takeaways from the industry. You know, um, you have you know the patient-centric portion of it, and then you also have you know a little bit of luxury and freedom in the sense of you do get to set your own schedule. There's work that has to be done, and, and it must be done at the end of the day, but it doesn't matter exactly at what hour of the day it gets done. So before I had truly broken into the industry, which in my opinion is the most difficult part. Once you're in, it's, it's much easier to make connections and bounce around if necessary, but breaking into the, to the industry is the difficult part. So the Jake before breaking into 
the medical biotech industry it was very different because in full transparency i i didn't feel like i had a purpose there was no no goal or driving factor in my life i knew i wanted to be successful and i had you know high hopes and and ambition but that only gets you so far without a game plan so once i truly knew that's what i wanted to do uh, i really sunk my teeth into it i, I read multiple books we, I spent hours after my, my business to business job, interview prepping, uh, flashcards, recording myself, making PowerPoint decks, and really just honing my skills to make sure that I could break into that industry. Once in the industry, the biggest difference that I felt is though, I now had a, a path. I knew what I wanted to do. I had a purpose when I woke up in the morning before breaking into the industry i didn't know exactly what i was going to do i had a rough rough guess of what the day would look like but there was a lot of um back and forth and now being where i am today when i wake up i know exactly where i'm going who i'm talking to and, and what i'm doing for the next two weeks because this is a plan that's been built and been set in place not yesterday or the day before you know you, you try to truly think about your goals well, at the end of this year what would i want to have accomplished who can i help what impact can i have on this organization and or our customers and patients moving forward once you set those goals and start to achieve them it becomes addicting and at that moment is when i realized that wow this is an industry i'll, I'll never leave a couple of things that I'd recommend for anybody looking to break into the pharmaceutical slash biotech space would be first and foremost getting two at least two years of a successful track record in business to business or B2B sales. The reason that pharmaceutical and biotech companies are going to want to have that or want to see that year to two years of B2B business to business sales experience previously is because there are skills that you will pick up in this in in along that journey that will translate to the next step and since these companies these biotech pharmaceutical companies are, are pouring so much money into a, a candidate that they've hired through their training development and you know um, compensation plans they want to make sure that they're getting a candidate that's already has some of the un teachable, the, the things that you can't teach um, aspects. Are you going to show up? Are you dependable? Are you a team player? Are you driven? And that's going to be proven through the first part where you have that year to two years of business business sales experience. The most important thing that I would say while in that role would be to document any, any and every form of success, every attaboy email, regardless of how trivial it may seem document it because you can always throw it away later but when you do go for that first interview at a, at a pharmaceutical or biotech company those they're going to want to ask you specific examples of when you overcame obstacles or when you worked with a difficult customer or when you exceeded a goals and you will have all those examples to pull through from which is exactly what they're going to be looking for in a candidate Thinking back five, 10 years ago, the best advice that was ever given to me was that you need to narrow your focus down and you have to pick something and, and go at it with all of your, your force because the analogy was given to me was if you're sitting there and you're shooting three arrows at a time at three different targets and you are competing against somebody who's shooting one arrow at one target and has been practicing that for weeks, they're going to be more accurate than you and that's a position you don't want to find yourself in when competing for these very very sought after and competitive jobs once stepping into the pharma slash biotech I, I want to say that you're going to have that feeling every single day but there are days where you will truly know that what you did not only changed that patient's life for the better, but that will leave a lasting impact potentially on a family.